I just wanted to give a real quick summary of how things went at the Colorado Mile. I haven't done videos in a while. Uh, we started posting more videos as I get them edited, but I've been spending the past seven weeks turning this from a stock S10 into the race truck you see. I'll do a walk around that'll show a lot more of the, the details of the truck. As far as how the uh, Colorado Mile event went this past Labor Day, uh, got the truck done the night before. Uh, the most I had driven it on was onto the alignment rack on Thursday. And then on Saturday, I towed it over there and uh, my charger blew up so I couldn't uh, do any more charging. I was only about 90% charged. I only had two battery banks installed. But uh, first run, I had to run between 135 and 165 to get my Class B license. Went out there and ran 150 miles an hour. Uh, that's with overdrive engaged. I wasn't able to get the overdrive shifter. There's a lot of little things that I still need to work on on the truck. But I uh, was really, really happy with that. That's a new top speed for... Uh, electric truck. Previously that was another S10 done by Lawless called Lemon Juice. They did 130 and a quarter. Uh, I only did 103 and a quarter because I'm uh, geared for top speed. At 150 miles an hour I was doing 3100 RPM. Um, so I was really really happy with that. Got my Class B license. Turned up the current from 1600 amps to 2300 amps and unfortunately I failed the uh, after the quarter mile which was 113, 114, I failed the coupling that connected between the front motor and the rear motor. Uh, luckily the Shiva detected the overspeed and shut it right down. Uh, really happy with that. The, the amount of damage that happened was actually really limited. But the overdrive worked good, the brakes upgrades, the suspension, uh, the batteries worked even better than I expected. Uh, even like partially charged and they weren't full batteries. I got 317 kilowatts per battery back. Uh, and that's only with two banks installed. I'm going to be going to four. I've got a third one sitting on the bench ready to go and a fourth one ready to assemble. Uh, with that, I will have uh, 1.2 megawatts of power available. Um, now, I won't be able to use all of that from the Shiba, even though it's the Shiba rating, because I'm at 340, 345, 350 volts, and the Shiba is rated to 425. But I'll still be able to, uh, theoretically, send 3,000 amps at, uh, at full voltage minus the sag, um, assuming I can get the motors together to uh, be able to hold up. So I'm getting another Warp 9. Uh, I found a used one. i got to make sure it's the later model one. The motor that I broke is probably the coupling, but it's also the shaft is stronger in the later models because they got rid of the counter bore. This one's a 2007-2008 Warp 9 and has a big counter bore in the shaft. And uh, later models, they got rid of that. So I'd like to get the get that to make sure that I have that extra margin on it. But uh, I'll get that in and uh, get the batteries installed and then looking for the next event to go. Unfortunately, the um, Texas Mile is all sold out. They sell out really quickly. Um, they're talking about doing another Colorado Mile in the spring, so I guess that'll be my next target. But uh, I'm going to get this done and uh, start driving it to work. That's uh, and It's completely street legal, so I want to get it out on the road and start enjoying it even though I'm not doing triple digits.